almost 40% of young Londoners expect to have at least five jobs over the course of their working life. That is the headline from a new study looking at the career expectations of teenagers. The research carried out by the Career College Network also suggests that most young people in the capital believe long-term employment with one company is a thing of the past. Let's get the thoughts of Dylan McTaggart, uh, who is the vice principal of Harrow College on this. Thank you for joining us this lunchtime. Is part of this about ambition, that they're, they're so keen to make sure they do lots of different things, or is it that they're realistic now, that the world has changed and that you don't get a job for life? I think it's about young people giving, being given the skill set and the tools to be more prescient in their decisions and more forward-thinking. So. Many uh, colleagues I speak to and friends now, and perhaps even yourself, I wouldn't suggest that's the case, look back on the decisions they made and thought, and thought if I'd taken a different route or had some sort of wiser advice or guidance or some real-time guidance, um, real guidance, then maybe I would have made a, a better decision for m myself going forward. And both the Careers College and Harrow College, it's innate in what we do in terms of make, allowing our students to make the best best decisions for their future and the most um, informed decisions. And so you talked about students having the sort of concerns about uh, f broken career pathways and or stepping into a career and having to restart and, and false starts. And that can be a real sort of negative in terms of their progression in career and then their earning power. So it really comes back to the Careers College Trust and the partnership with Harrow College really brings employers and really worthy big employers like KPMG into the educational environment. And it, it, it gives it some, some relevance and some, some honesty and integrity to the young people who would otherwise suggest, is, is it just another sort of activity, another box ticking task? It does fit within larger government mandates. Mm -hmm. We want to do it in a real sense, and therefore our students will step out of that building having just met um, a senior manager from BT who's exposed them to a line of, of career pathways that link to digital and the format we're in now that they hadn't even connected with what was historically perhaps a phone company and, and has moved on somewhat. And so it's really an eye-opener with real people doing real things. And then it links into some of the other sort of the qualification delivery do, and students want to leave with a, pe with a piece of paper and a qualification that has resonance and value with employers. And so part of that again is drawing in the employers to help uh, brand our assignments in such a way that they link in with what employers really want. So the conversation and the vernacular that the students are using with us now and, uh, and, their, and their tutors, when they go into the place of work, whether it be with work experience, and a great percentage of our students go on real work experience, um, they are having that same conversation. And you know, the careers College Trust um, is hewn from some people who are very successful. Uh, Lord Baker, who was the um, he was the Education Secretary for Margaret Thatcher, I believe, um, uh, um, and uh, Luke uh, Luke uh, Johnson, his name is, and he's very successful. He runs teams like Gales, and they bring something with a, uh, again a relevance and integrity to it. Mm. Is there is there a sense of relief? To to some extent, that these students aren't going into a job for 40 years, perhaps like their parents have. Are they, are they glad that they, they look at this and think, well, there will be some variety in life? I, I don't, I, I, speaking um, from my experience with the young people we deal with, and we have over 2016 to 18s we deal with on a daily basis, and 6,000 students, of which many of them are young adults, 19 to 21 as well. I, uh, I think it's about giving, equipping them with the tools again to make those more forward-thinking decisions. And whether we look 20 years ahead or, or 40 years ahead, we want to, um, to, to look back and think that we made those decisions ably and, and with, with sound information. And so every tool we can give those young people is, is going to put them in a better position to step out of our building through those glass doors into another set of glass doors that opens up to a, an array of electronics and, and excitement leading onto their future. Mm -hmm. And that's really what we're about and Further Education is about. For many it's uh, an opportunity to re-engage with education and spark up a love with uh, what was historically more vocational education but also, uh, and the Chris College are very aware of this, we really focus on some of the, um, the real drivers in the London economy. So, for example, digital and media. So we've got one of our partnerships with the Careers College at Harrow is the digital and media partnership. And they're bringing in employers and real-time uh, real real and real-life experience for our students to, en to engage with. And maybe we can invite them into the studio at some stage. And, of course, business and professional studies. And that fits in with the Harrow Regeneration Project. It's all about small and local enterprises growing. 30% of the um, financial market um, in the UK is based in London. Open these doors for our students and show them the opportunities that really will take them out of 
an integrated world. Indeed, these areas where there are a need for people as well. We've got skill shortages in many of these areas. Uh, we are out of time, but Dylan McTaggart, Vice Principal for Harrow College, thank you for joining us. Most welcome. Thanks a lot. There we go.